Hey, it's Ace at the Spot. I know a lot of people in the fantasy draft community wanted more waiver wire content, so this video is just for you. I'll be talking about three players that you can officially cut ties with and tell you three players that you'll want to add to your team. For the best fantasy draft content, subscribe to my channel at the spot and ding the bell so you're notified every time I drop fresh content. It is the spot for fantasy footballers, especially those in fantasy draft leagues. And I know one of the most difficult things to do in fantasy draft leagues is drop a player that you drafted, you've invested in, and they're just not coming through for you. Well, I'm here to help you out and tell you that it's okay to move on from these three players. Let's start with Everton's Gilfie Sigurdsson. If you picked him up and played him over his last six matches, you would have been rewarded with a couple 11 pointers, but consider that good business and be okay with moving on because Everton plays Leicester, Manchester United, and Liverpool in three of their next six. It's also worth noting that Sigurdsson didn't log as many minutes before the James Rodriguez injury, and the Colombian is just returning to action, which could mean less playing time for Sigurdsson once again. Next up, Tanguy Ndombele is also coming off an 11-point performance recently when he scored against Wolves, but when you look beyond that, he hasn't scored more than 7 fantasy points in a match all season, and he hasn't played a full 90 all season. He's droppable if there's another mid you like. Okay, this last one might be a little tougher to part with, I get it, but I think it's okay to drop Mason Greenwood. The name recognition is there. The numbers are not. He has just 24 points, a high of 7 when he scored his only goal of the season at West Ham. Truth is, you could have dropped him for players such as Anwar Al Ghazi, Thomas Suchek, or Ilke Gunawan in the past month and benefited greatly. Now let's talk about which players you should scoop from the waiver wire. I mentioned him in a previous video, but I'll say it again. Emil Smith-Rowe of Arsenal should be added to your team. He's been a big part of their recent success. He's averaging 5.25 fantasy points since he entered the fold four matches ago. And this is more about the eyeball test than assessing numbers. He looks lively on the pitch. Ruben Neves of Wolves is also heating up, scoring in each of his last two matches, and his team doesn't face a top eight side for the next four fixtures, unless the schedule gets juggled around again, which is entirely possible with the way things have been going. Finally, you might have to dig deep into the waiver heap to find him, but Ross Barkley could be worth scooping and stashing if you have the space on your team. It's better to be a week early than a week late when it comes to identifying a player returning from injury, in the five matches before his injury, he averaged 5.8 fantasy points per game. Well, I hope that helps with some of the tough decisions that you have to make. If you'd like to see more content similar to this, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ding the bell. Thanks so much for hanging out at the spot.